know that JP Morgan, uh, JPM coin uh, has seen transactions in excess of uh, a billion each day. I think blowing up sounds more destructive than it actually <laughs> is. <laughs> Frankly, uh, our core remit is to redesign the infrastructure on how to move money, how to move assets, etc. And we've made we believe more progress than anyone else in the world in rolling out enterprise blockchain solutions, everything from JPM coin to Onyx digital assets, collateralized tokens, etc. So in our mind, we've made a huge bunch of progress. And I think you can see some of our peers now starting to follow. What driving all of that and where do you see it going? If you're looking at a billion dollars worth this time round, where will you be? How many X? I'm hoping something at least 5 to 10x. Um, and within what time frame? Within the next year or two. So if you really think about how much money we move, it sounds like a small number within JP Morgan. I mean, our business moves 10 trillion a day. So compared to 10 trillion, a billion sounds low. However, I think starting from zero, and we've gone sort of 10x over a relatively short amount of time when we launched it a couple of years ago. Um, now we look at real takeoff. Our client numbers have started to really kind of, you know, take off exponentially. Um, we have a lot of interest from securities companies, et cetera, and using this uh, particular technology. So we really think it's going to start taking off. Um, and that just shows in the numbers. And I always tell my team that if it's not growing exponentially, then what's the point? <laughs> uh, the thing is, there are, uh, there are challenges out there. And some say perhaps it's regulation. Is yeah. it? I think it's regulation for certain parts. So I think if you're talking about crypto proper, maybe yes. For us, our approach has been not to challenge regulation, not to challenge the legal infrastructure. Frankly, in many ways, the legal and the regulatory infrastructure is actually quite fit for purpose for what we do. Our core objective is to rewire the financial system. I know it sounds very grand, but if you think about the financial system, it is siloed. It's siloed by countries, it's siloed by geographies, by asset types. And we are just thinking about, can we use this tech to rewrite the core and do things that you could not do before, whether that's moving large amounts of money instantly across borders or doing an atomic settlement of a security where one party sends a security to the other party and the money moves at exactly the same time. So there is no risk in the system. So what do you envision it can do that we're not envisioning now? What's the goal for you? A couple of things which are frankly quite recent, and I'll mention them. So we announced programmable payments um, a week or two ago. That is a fundamental change in how people think about money. So right now you have your money, especially if you're a large institution. So I'm talking mostly from an institutional point of view, corporates or banks. They, uh, they would store money and move money through other institutions like ourselves, like our big peers in the world. Um, but there is no concept of actually programming your payments where you truly have power to do anything at any time based on any trigger. So we rolled out uh, programmable payments. Uh, it's uh, the first time we've done it uh, with Siemens, with FedEx, and a couple of other, other clients are actually now uh, actively exploring it and using it. What that means is you can go in sort of like you can do in your phone apps and set uh, rules saying, okay, every Monday morning, Wednesday morning, and Friday morning at 10 o'clock, look at how many dollars I have, how many euros I have, how do I move money around, triggers based on FX, things of that nature. But we really are going to grow this into much more interesting things like, you know, where is my ship? Is my ship close enough to port? If so, pay. What's the weather? I mean, so that's the real promise of this deck, which current infrastructure just does not allow. So it's more customized in that sense as well. I know that you started with the USD, then you went to the Euro. What yep. next? What would make sense? Uh, whatever our clients want. Everything we do starts with a client and moves backwards because we are only partly interested in innovation. We are also very much interested in serving our clients in ways that they would have not been served before. To be honest, most of our clients are very much dollar Eurocentric. Um, Might it be the same dollar? Might it be? It, I mean, our, one of our biggest innovation hubs is in Singapore. Actually, the team that built the JPM coin is mostly based in Singapore. So I'm imagining that Sing Dollar is going to be on the agenda, not too far off. Uh, you know, we talk about AI and the disruption that AI uh, would bring. Yeah. How do you see this playing out into the financial system? For the future financial system, how would that look like? I'm not an AI expert. Um, so besides my computer science degree from a long time <laughs> ago, <laughs> I don't know much about AI in terms of uh, operationalizing it. but. I do think the technology is fundamentally quite powerful if you can harness it and if you can apply it in a compliant way. Um, so 
even we have now started to, I mean, as soon as we, you know, announced programmable payments, the next thought was, is there a, a, a crossover we can do? But I think it's a long way to go from our experience in blockchain tech, regulators and sort of the legal infrastructure it takes a little while before a regulated institution can start using new technology at scale. Omar, quick question before yeah. we let you go. We know that you have a project with the MAS. Talk to us about it. We have been doing projects with the MAS for many years. We are big partners of the MAS. Uh, we actually launched a company called Partier in Singapore, which is also very innovative as a shared ledger across various banks, something that, again, does not exist in the world very much. It's gone live. Uh, and that came out of, I think, about five years of doing Project Ubin with MAS. We've done Project Guardian with them last year. We are doing Guardian with them this year. Um, so you will hear a lot more about work we're doing with MAS and our partners in Singapore. Uh, that blowing up, have you done?